Hextech Retribution, Spiked Shell, and Ruthless Blades. This was actually buff a lot. Kane Draven, when you feal him, your team gains 75% critical strike chance. Very, very dank. 100% crit. Uh, but I'm eyeing something else, guys. I'm eyeing something very specific. And I hope no one's taking it. I'm still eyeing it. I'm still eyeing you, little big boys. I'm gonna just take it, man. Let's take that Hextech Retribution. And let's play some Renegade. Every 5 seconds, admins gain 18 ability power. On ally death, admins gain 20% attack speed. On ally death, admins gain 18 ability power. Let's take the attack speed. And honestly, I'm down to itemize this Camille. And I think I will go reroll Camille. Despite not having the carry augment, I think I'm still down to just reroll this Camille, guys. Um, I think with a good admin trait, which, guys, when an ally dies, admins gain 20% attack speed. I mean, does it get, does it go much further than that? Shall we? Cheers, my friends. Um, I mean, we're going straight to Benjamin City with this one, man. This is just absolutely crazy. So, uh, I think despite it not being, uh, the carry augment, I think we can still do well with it. At least that's my opinion. So let's just stock up on some people here. And we'll see what happens. I'm just gonna put her in the back. Super's Camille reroll. Is anybody playing a reroll augment? It's something I recently found out. Is, look at this. I was always clicking on this. Right click to read it like an idiot. But you can just look at this man. It's a green. It's green right? Green yellow is the support augment. Green, yellow, green, red, yellow. And then you have the red ones. The red ones are the carry augments. Or purple. Uh, yellow, purple. Carry augment. Sona shoots more beams. You see? Fires one additional beam. So, uh, very simple. So, you just check like this. And you can see if people are re-rolling for supers. And they're probably not. Because I don't think you play Sona with supers. So, that is good. Not too bad. Camille 1v9, that's the that's the goal, yeah. That is the goal. I'm down for supers, but it doesn't have to be supers. Really doesn't have to be supers. I'm just gonna play this gentleman. We still didn't get the get the other dude. Um, the Viego, not the Viego, the mini Viego, the Talon. The reason why I also decided to play this is because I already have really good items. Yes, unfortunately, I don't have an item that I can slam. But best in slot Camille, from what I heard, is Titans, a BT, Infinity Edge. So we need double sword armor. Double sword and an armor. What's BIS Kaisa and do you need for recon with it? Yes. Go back 40 minutes in the VOD and copy me. And enjoy the game, boy. If you're watching this as a YouTube video, if this becomes a YouTube video, there's a YouTube video from today on the channel where you can see the Broken 4 Recon comp now. I was really thinking about going Recon. Uh, 6 Renegade. I was really thinking about 6 Renegade. GS Ginsu's plus 1. Don't go Ginsu's. Go GS. Um, don't go Ginsu's. I don't like Ginsu's on Kai'Sa that much. I mean, it's okay. It's okay. But honestly, GS is the only thing that's really needed. Uh, GS plus 2. Giant Slayer plus 2. I think BT is the most important. What, what are you guys thinking? Like, BT is the most important. Not too bad. I'm holding this guy because he's Renegade. I was really thinking about going for the Renegade Emblem. I take the Spatula plus Crit is Renegade Emblem. But then I still need two swords and... Pff, this Camille will just never come online. And I feel like with no one going a supers here, I just have a nice little reroll game, man. You go full Camille reroll, man. You play... Uh, just reroll all the supers and you're chilling. At least that's my my opinion here. You can even reroll 
the, the little Talon as well. Three star Talon. If I get, depending on what I get on Krugs, we might go for three star Talon as well. Three star Talon, three star uh, Silas maybe even for more frontline. Oh yeah, I'm for sure playing supers now, because I got so many of them. I can sell this guy. I'm selling this guy now. I make 30. It's big. It's big. Who's better? Silas? Nah. This guy's gonna slap that man. He's gonna jump in the corner, and he's gonna beat somebody up. Played against the Renegade Fiddlesticks in the bank line, he cleaned up my whole board. Well, sir, if you split your units, this this co this uh, combo is usually has a decent counter. If you split your units. Because usually, oftentimes he can't hit both sides. But it depends, man. If the fight was already close, but at the same time, if the fight was already close, he would win without the Fiddlesticks as well. Or if he front li frontlines it. Generally, backline Fiddlesticks is a cool concept, but it's unfortunately not that good. Uh, they need to nerf the base damage even more and buff the... They need to maybe even remove the CC and just hard buff the damage. I think that's a good idea. But then you lose that frontline tank, which which is fun for me. So I, I would... I'd be sad if they just remove that. I don't think I can lose here, right? Where are the recons? What happened? Well, I got a... I got a Hexag Retribution, so I'm not spamming recons this game. I think it'll be fine to do this. But you were right, man. I'm an idiot. I might regret it. I might regret it, man. I'm gonna get beaten up by a 4 recon guy. I'm gonna be salty. But I love Camille, man. She's fun to watch. With her crazy damage output. This is uh, pretty bad. But it's okay. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Infinite gold. Okay, I'm gonna reroll this idiot as well. We'll just play this and we'll uh, re reroll Talon, reroll Camille. Three star everything. Roll a little bit here. Oh. I have to play this guy though for for admin. Uh, I will see. I guess just plus one renegade later. Yeah, sure. Plus one renegade later on. Maybe we just ditch admin because renegade is more important than admin. Yeah, yeah. ditch admin later on when I have supers. Alright, now we stop. Now we stop rolling. I lost a lot of health already. Oh, little little Talon can do this, man. Little Taloni can do this. Put in Blitzcrank later, I guess. Ditch Blitzcrank. Bayzet. Hand of Justice. Camille on the ground. Camille on the ground, easier to 3-star Camille. Admins gain attack speed. Holy Giga Chad of Giga Chads. Renegade Master, D4 Damager. Or what? Oh, that's a, that's a huge augment actually. Cool. Okay, now we won't get uh, bench locked. Now we won't get cocked. Leave the Camille on the ground. Because it raises the chances. To find Camille. She is not generated yet. She's still in the pool. Only when you touch the orb, you get the... Uh, the Camille gets taken out of the pool. Again, Mordog said the wrong thing on the broadcast. I know everyone saw that clip. Afterwards, on Twitter, he corrected himself. And I know you didn't see his tweet. Because why... Would everybody on the internet that is watching a YouTube clip also be 
watching every single tweet of Mark Dog, that is not gonna happen. That's what I'm telling you here. Just please trust me, it does raise the chance. It's also really good to leave her here because you get a, an additional bench slot, which is very important for reroll comps. Super Skimil reroll. Sick. Oh, I should have sold these guys. I'm a little bit stupid here. Okie dokie, guys. We need a Camille too. Maybe I should... You know what? I'll roll a little bit deeper. Nice, bro. Let's go, baby. I'll roll a little bit deeper just to get Camille too. Again, don't pick this up. This is your last Camille. Please listen to me. Raises your chances. Clears up the bench. Again, think about it. Imagine you have seven GPs. Seven Silas's. Seven Talents. And then what? Your bench is full, man. And you have to sell something, which always feels bad. So whenever you can save bench slots, is good. The only reason why I took the first Camille is because I didn't have a Camille to begin with. And if I'm not playing a single Camille from the start, I'm not losing my Hero Augment as well, at all. Which, if I had something else, I would have done, to be fair. But I didn't have anything else. I think Talon is going to be really strong. He's going to get bonus attack speed as well now. He has two really good items. Okay, we are just missing one sword. With the ill behavior, exactly, man. The D4 damager. I love Renegade, man. <laughs> With the ill behavior. How good is that song, though? Isn't that song so good? Everybody knows it. Maybe we're just boomers, guys. Nice, Kino. So yeah, I'm already gonna have to sell some Malphites. Even without the Camille on the on the thing. Right, we're chilling. Uh, this guy's gonna be good. Not because he's good, but because he's Renegade and he's gonna give me another plus 5% damage on supers. <laughs> so wait, wait, you're telling me I'm gonna have 40% bonus damage plus like 40% from supers, let's say, when everybody's dead for the last one alive, plus 20%. And then from admin, she's gonna get like 100% attack speed when she's the last one alive at level 6. So she's gonna truly 1v9 it. That is sick. And don't forget her support augment. When your, your team deals 10% bonus damage, increasing by an additional 5% whenever an ally dies. Oh, that is the snowball of the century, guys. That is not bad. That is not bad at all. Oh, look at this. Look at this. See? Gotta sell Mr. Malfi. Already. Nice. Am I dropping low? 50 health. Kinda good. Two more GPs. Two more Silas, three more Talents, then we can move on to level A uh, 6, then we can play the Supers, then we play the Camille, and then we need four more Camilles, three more Camilles, remember one's on the ground, so three more Camilles, that's good, and we just need to find one Lee Sin, probably not gonna three star Lee Sin and Malphite because it doesn't seem like it's gonna happen unless I get a bunch of them, and uh, what's up Sloth? What's up, man? Welcome. I am not as tilted as yesterday. Isn't that great? I'm holding up strong. Big. Getting worried. Getting worried for Mr. Talon. Because I don't really want to dig too much for Talon. I don't really want to dig too much for Talon here, because he is... I mean, he has some good items, don't get me wrong. But he doesn't have crazy stuff, you know, where I'm like, Oh man, we need this Talon right now, man. This guy's gonna solo carry me, you know? So I'm not like... 
Not too excited about wasting too much gold here for Talon. Nice, that's big. That clears up our bench. I'm not even playing this guy. I have so many Lee Sins, by the way. Uh, is there any item that we can go for? Sunfire is easy rot, huh? Is it on him, though? Just wait a little bit. Renegades units deal bonus damage. Okay, so the Sunfire should deal deal bonus damage, right? The Sunfire deals bonus damage or what? Yo, Mr. Shuruk, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Welcome back to Shuriken. Much appreciated. Thank you for your uh, continued support. Hello again. What's up, man? What's up? All right, Pandora's Bench is way too late. Exiles is really good. Celestial Blessing is really good. But I, my two units have life steal, so I think it's Exiles. Okay, so is Sunfire more? Oh, but Silas scales on HP. Oh, if he scales on HP, I'm gonna go aggressive then. Frick it. Oh, yeah, yeah, true, he does scale on HP. I'm gonna go aggressive then. Frick the heal reduction, man. I'm just gonna... They're not gonna heal. I'm just gonna kill them before they heal. I'm thinking it's a level up and go for a... Uh, because we need the super damage now. I need to level up and play the last super guy. The, the, the This guy. So I'm thinking it's a roll at 6. And hope we find two more talents. Level up now and get the super damage. And win streak for the rest of the game, hopefully. Exiles is really good. Holy, what a cool comp, man. That's a fun comp, guys. That is that is a super fun comp. I mean, I hope I can get fourth. And then it's a fun YouTube video, right? I'm not sure if this is a top tier comp. I am not sure if this is like a super strong thing, but it seemed fun. I got the, I got the perfect uh, thingy here. Because it also gave me a Hodge, which was really good. So this admin emblem was actually really nice. Hodge was the best I could get here. I mean, Jewel Gauntlet maybe, but having some lifesteal is good. Yeah, I would like to have Jewel Gauntlet and this Ionic, uh, instead of Ionic Spark, but I mean, it's fine. He doesn't have to be able to crit on this. He can, like, he's gonna do a lot of damage. Not too bad. Yo, Mr. Un, thank you for the 1,500 bits. Much appreciated, man. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you, thank you, sir. I need to pay attention. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Please, please, please. Can we get this item? Holy, we got the Infinity Edge. Let's go. You have a Spark on Talon. I don't know what for Silas' third item then. Uh, I wouldn't put Spark on Silas' third item. I would probably put just something random, man. Just a tank item, Sunfire. He's more of a tank. But yeah, thank you so much for the 1.5k bits. Much appreciated. Thank you for the support, man. Okay, so we hit everything. I'm gonna just buy this. I probably three-star these guys, because what do we get for leveling up? We can play Brawler, we can play Mascot. But I think three-starring these guys is very viable, which is gonna be 10% increased damage. I already thinned out the, the, the two-cost pool by a lot. Okay, good. Nobody's positioning around my Talon as well. They will just bleed. Like, this bleeds. You have to put something else in the corner. I mean, I, I guess you can't. You only have melee units. They will jump away. 
And then they will walk away, right? I'm really good into the uh, Jax matchup because she disarms Jax and he doesn't have QSS, so he just gets cocked. And we get the more people die, the more attack speed we get and stuff. <laughs> it's so satisfying. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure, guys, uh, you can always play Camille. I think Camille is one of the strongest, if not the strongest, two cost reroll. And you can play her even without uh, the hero augment, even without the support augment, but only if the admin is good. If the admin is good, you would just put level 7 Blitzcrank for Bruiser and Admin. Bruiser here. And uh, if the admin is attack speed, any form of attack speed, the best one is at combat start, admins gain X amount of attack speed. I think it's 50% or something, which is obviously very overtuned, right? It's very strong, so... That is, yeah. What's up, Cubis? What was the admin thing? It's whenever my teammates die, the admins gain 20% attack speed. So it's really nice. Yeah, as you can see. And if you get the carry augment... Oh boy. Camille is S tier. S tier, man. We get the carry augment. For sure. Alright, so the question is, do we 3 star them or do we level? Leveling gives me Brawler. It just enables this guy. I cannot get anything to enable her. I would have to go 4 admin, which is level 8. That is not easy, and I don't even know what 4 admin is. I guess I will buy him just to be able to check it when I get a Leblanc. To check what the 4th admin is, because if it's attack speed again, then it's really good. Um, if it's gold, is useless, because now we just care about... Um, we just care about winning. We don't care about gold anymore. Gold is for early game. Oh, bro, there's too many too, so too many units, man. There's too many units. I don't actually want that many units there. I only get one component. I'm gonna take this because it's an armor component, but I'm not popping it. was that too late, buddy? If I lose the fight because of that, I would be a little bit tilted. Just a little bit. Um, Just a little bit, though. But I would be a little bit much tilted, man. If it's like a very close fight, if it's a 5% bonus damage difference, I don't think that's gonna happen, man. I'm pretty sure we're just gonna go undefeated here. Unless somebody busts out some legendaries. Maybe even some legendary 3 stars. There is Prismatic Augments, this lobby, so there could be some high-end shopping. I didn't really scout too much. L uh, Golden Ticket is also dangerous, but he's hard stuck level 7. Wait, this guy is... He, he won, so it's fine. It's dangerous. We 3-star everything, which means we have 50% bonus damage, which is insane. Uh, yeah, we're chilling, guys. I think I can go AFK. I think this is over. What do you think? Can get mascot. Yeah, mascot is uh, not too useful. First time I catch you on stream. Just saw your videos a few months ago. Welcome, man. Welcome to the stream. I think Kerry Camille has the best single hit numbers this set. True, true, true. Full three star board. So nice. You haven't seen it ever. You often get it if you play supers often. I play supers very often, so I. It's not like I get it often, but I get it like three times a week. Playing 8 hours a day, so yeah. Why does the game music sound so scuffed? Doesn't to me, doesn't to me. Not sure if it's just you. Hope it's just you, Mr. Danny. So I don't have an issue on my end with my setup. You want any other commands? No, not really. I don't think so. Kerry Camille was my first game with Shirko this set. It's really sick, huh? Kerry Camille is super fun. First place on YouTube too, you got first place? Nice, man. The Brawler Jax video was very funny to watch, man. The one where I'm saying uh, challengers abuse this comp or the other one? I, I, have, I have a lot of 
Brawler Jack's videos, man. It's a very strong comp, so I'm abusing it a little bit. Can't lie. Let's get to work. I'm down to just level up here. Place this thing. Because you never know, man. Maybe this ace will just kill one unit and get lucky, you know? It's kind of good. <laughs> also, putting more unit, units means... Um, I get um, I get more damage from them dying, from the attack speed, from the bonus damage, from Hextech uh, Retribution. <laughs> the distraction. The MF. The MF distraction, guys. I'm always distracted by MF as well. So I, I know how it feels, man. It's very simple. Very simple, man. That's a war mod. I mean... Oh, nice. We get a 4-cost Warmog. Let's go for Warmogs on Silas. Look, he's second most damage dealer, by the way. He's better than Talon. That's crazy. Again, not the best build on Talon. Not the best, man. But it's decent. It's good enough. Because who else do you admin here? I mean, if I get a remover, I'll admin somebody else. But him getting attack speed is kind of dank. When an ally dies, admins gain 20% attack speed. Ah, man. I mean, he's the first one to die. That's the issue. So it's kind of cringe. I'll probably just play Bruiser to make him tank here. Or Brawler, I mean. Sorry. I literally haven't uh, switched positioning. Yeah, GP admin is fine as well. Completely fine. I would, uh, the thing is, uh, as I said, the Talon kind of dies very early on. In some matchups, it depends. In some matchups, I mean, against the Jax guy. Look, here, he, here it's really good. Here it's really good. He got some, he got like, what, 40% attack speed? Two people died? 40% attack speed? Can't complain about that. But obviously, our goal is to play, uh... Let's check what 4 Hacker is. Let's just check it real quick. Heal, 30, gain 15 permanent. See, that's just so bad. <laughs> that is unplayable. So I'll never play hacker. Uh, admin. And heal 250 health when an ally dies. You know? <laughs> I mean, it's bad for me here. It's not bad always. But for me here, it's bad. Because... 250 health is not a lot when everybody has so much health. And they already have lifesteal. Like, the important units have lifesteal, so... Yeah. But it was worth checking out. If it was starting... Uh, if it was the attack speed again... When an ally dies, attack speed again... That'd be kind of dang. If she ults before she dies, I'm chilling. No, nah, she didn't. Unfortunate. She didn't ult before she died. Alright, so here we level up, we roll it down to zero, we get a Sejuani, no Sejuani, no Sejuani, Sejuani 2, Z3 almost, okay, I'm gonna hold this Z, I'm gonna ratty rat it up, it is what it is guys, <laughs> it is what it is. Okay, so I'm not one shot here. These two are one shot, so I'm at least third. So that's good. I'll take it. Guys, can someone confirm whether the game sound sounds scuffed to you, or was it just Mr. Danny that had scuffed game sound? Or do I have to fix something? By Echo? Oh, I, I messed up. I messed up the things.
I messed up uh, Exiles. My bad. My bad, guys. I messed up Exiles. I'm playing against Zed. He dies. Yeah, he's dead. That means I can sell Zed. No need to hold Zed anymore. Can't have Z3, guys. Can't have Z3 beating me here. Uh, that would be very annoying. Oh, yeah. Let's not mess up the Exiles, man. There we go. We got Masco, we got Brawler. Nothing to complain about, right? Fourteen health. Aegis would be low-key nice, though. I have to say. Aegis would be nice, because Aegis... Uh, I could go Vi and Alistair for Aegis. And Mascot as well. And Brawler. But I mean, this is pretty good. If she even casts once, she already outperforms Aegis, probably. She cast it. Stuns frontline. Loki good. This guy's stuck on target dummy. Come on, Camille. Camille, you can do it. Nice. Good job, Camille. Not a kill yet. Lock this Nunu. Yeah, I mean, I don't have a choice, right? I can't, I can't just pull a Vi out of my hat. <laughs> or out of my socks. Although I have to say, man, I would love to um, uh, touch Vi socks. What? That was crazy. I believe that is a mistake, because he's gonna jump on this, and then next ult is gonna jump on this. So that is a mistake. He's gonna pop the Zoe. Oh, okay. That, that, that Talia positioning was a huge mistake. That was the thing that was carrying him. Unfortunate. I mean, he had to try something new. But I think I would just leave the positioning. The fight was really close. I think it was just a couple, like maybe one less crit, and I lose, right? Um, so, yeah, I feel like you should have just left the positioning. Talia, just very exposed there, gets killed by my Camille, and would have been jumped on by Talon anyway. So that was, uh, yeah, misplayed a little bit there. We'll take it, guys. Hey, beautiful game, everything 3-star, basically, man. Super, super strong comp. But don't expect this to go this smooth for you. Make sure to cross two check marks. Do you have a Camille augment? Do you have a good admin? Then you're good to go. And even without any Camille Augments, if you have a nice admin, uh, super uncontested, you should be good to go with this. Make sure you have the correct items though on Camille, because uh, she really, really needs these, in my experience. If she doesn't have these, she's a little bit scuffed. Subscribe, notification bell if you enjoy these TFT videos. Also make sure to leave an algorithmic comment and an algorithmic like down below to support this video in the YouTube algorithm so I can get some more views and I'll see you next time. Peace.